X minus 2? Where? Here? Uh, it's x minus 1. What are you talking about? OK. So when we're multiplying rational expressions like over here, basically what I told you guys to do, mm, Lee, it's not really what you need to be doing. JT, I can't give you credit if that's not what you're doing today. Thank you. So basically what you guys are going to be doing for this, when you're multiplying expressions, all you're basically doing, again, is multiplying cross. Where in division, we had to rewrite the, a division problem as a multiplication problem. Well, for multiplication, we're just going to multiply across. Now, what I, um, a lot of times what I like to do, I like to multiply across, especially with my powers. Um, but what you guys can also do is I always like to simplify the numbers. I don't want to multiply the numbers um, if I don't have to. Now, you easily could. You easily could do 9 times 6, which is 54, and then over 2, and then simplify that, right? However, I also think it's easier. I can divide. I can't divide 9 divided by 2. I can't simplify that. But I can simplify 6 over 2, which is going to give me a 3, right, over 1. Would everybody agree with that? So that just kind of helps me out. Now, when I multiply across here, um, so I have 9 times 3, which is 27. x times x to the negative first is going to be x to the 1 minus 1, which will give us well, let's do x to the 0, which we know is actually going to be what? 1. And then on the bottom here, I have x squared times x cubed, which is x to the 6th. And then y, or I'm sorry, y, x to the 5th. And then y times y squared is y cubed. All right. Now, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is going to be 1. So that really we don't need to worry about. And then y to the 6th, remember when we're dividing expression or dividing exponents, we subtract the powers. So therefore, my final answer is 27y cubed over x to the 5th, <coughs> where x and y cannot equal 0. Yes, Haley. y x cannot equal 4? Over here? Oh, that's a totally different problem. Um, 